Hello, everyone. Excuse me while I uh, add this to the Friendly Junk Journal People group. I'm going to try to do this in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, today I'm feeling kind of vintage, uh, not really junk journal-y. I guess it could be considered junk journal, but uh, vintage art journal page. And so, yeah, for some reason I've just been in that mood for a while. And uh, so I hope to work in my new journal. So just a second, let me post this on the group, see if anyone will join, and uh, then we'll go from there. Of course, it's about an hour now until Linda goes live, so I figured I would do a bit of a um, upper a craft or something myself. So uh, what I'm going to do now, first of all, I've already pre-gessoed these two pages. Um, this is a tab that I got from someone in a Happy Mail swap, and I can't remember I'm so sorry, I can't remember who it was that sent this to me, but I'm uh, very appreciative, and she also sent me a bunch of other stuff. I got, I've got my entire desk, first of all, I'm glad you can't see all of it, because it's hideous, but I cannot remember for the life of me who sent this to me, but I'm very appreciative and um, love all the things I got, so I'm going to start, uh, you know, using some of those. I really like how this looks. First of all, if you guys didn't see this post in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, um, I did post this the other day. And, uh, whoops, now I see that I don't have... Oh, no, it's down here. Okay. I was gonna say, I thought I used the uh, closure ribbon on something else on another journal and I was about to freak, but no, it's cool. Uh, anyway, so I made this the other day and posted a picture. I'll do a flip through at some point and kind of show you guys what I did. I did some uh, pages I've already done. That's a hymnal page and it's it's just got some color on it. It was a mop-up page and so um, some uh, canvas, some craft paper, and then this uh, awesome recycled uh, sketchbook paper that uh, actually has some some uh, I don't know, grossness, whatever you'd want to call that, but I'm going to incorporate that because this is going to be mainly a vintage type of uh, journal. So I'm really excited. Uh, this is the very first, well, first two pages, first spread, whatever. Um, first ones that I did, and I did that about a week or so ago and just used a little bit of elements. But anyway, so I've just had these pages. Uh, dried pretty quick actually and so I'm gonna set this aside right now I'm just working on getting some of these some of these pages kind of torn a little bit and just prepped for the uh, for the placements if you guys can hear the traffic I hope that doesn't bother you too much I've got my window open right by my desk and so. also sorry if I bumped the camera I've got my um, weird camera set up with my phone on a tripod and it's uh, kind of right up in my grill so anyway and the dog's outside she'll probably start scratching up the door here in a minute wanting to come in she started doing that I I hate that but you know whatever what can you do so she'll probably want to come in here in a little bit especially because she hears me talking put her outside for a while because she was just laying sleeping on the couch and you know although that's cool I just don't want her to sleep all day long that's kind of rough but anyway so I see someone's here um I wonder if I can see comments on this I don't even know so you have to excuse me I'm a little um new to the whole YouTube live thing before when I did YouTube videos it was just upload uh, now you can do live so anyway I also have some hymnal pages and I'm gonna take a drink real quick 
and I did have, oh, there it is, a um, couple pieces of book text, uh, like this one is quite old and it just kind of breaks, so, I mean, it's helpful when you need to tear something and you really don't need to do a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of folding and making sure it's, you know, because it just, uh, breaks off, so, whatever. Uh, anyway, this is a piece of tea and coffee stained paper uh, that I had for a junk journal I just made, which is actually right here, so I'll be able to share that with you guys sometime. Finished that one up yesterday. So, all right, let's get into this. I'm going to step over here real quick and get a glue stick. We will let the uh, vintage journaling commence. Hopefully, I think it is, unfortunately. I was gonna say, I hope this isn't the glue stick that is just about out of glue, but I'm pretty sure it is, so yeah, anyway. All right, so if you guys have any questions, concerns, thoughts, opinions, whatever, Want to talk about something? Just let me know. I was uh, tired of listening to whoop, to a radio show this morning. Didn't really feel like watching much YouTube. Already did some jelly printing, so you know my um, my day has been quite eventful so far. And I was like, well, there's no one here to talk to but the dog. And as much as I love talking to her, I kind of want some human contact. So. Uh, to YouTube it is. But, and this is also a way, because I've wanted, you know, I've started wanting to get some videos up, and so this is at least a way that I can uh, upload to YouTube without having, or without feeling the need to edit a lot of stuff and all that. I've also got some ephemeral, pe ephemeral pieces. Some are just um, uh, some colored papers, uh, like some of my hymnal pages. I've also got Tim Holtz stuff, some more Tim Holtz stuff. I've got Tim Holtz paper dolls down here. Basically, anything I could want, I've pretty much got right here. Remind me of that in a week or so when I decide I want to go crap shopping. Got way too much stuff, so I'm hoping to really start using my stash. I've also got this page. It's a um, book page actually it was on the front cover of a book and it is a map so absolutely love maps you can see I was doing another project I've got some white gesso on my hands so sometimes I like cutting the pages other times I just love the torn edge look probably as much as I'll use for the map because you really just don't want to overdo it you know we get it it's a map type of thing but anyway this week uh, I've got one day off which is today usually I have um, Monday and Tuesdays off, but this week we've got a new system that we're about to implement into work, and so we're having training on it. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I get two days, or I get one day off this week instead of two. So that's really fun. So I'm trying to, you know, live it up and craft today. So, all right. And I am not going into this with an idea of what I want to do, except something vintage. So let's see if I can pull this piece up. Well, okay, let's take this into consideration. This is a vintage journal, kind of. I've got, um, it's more vintage fall feel good type of thing. So. 
I'm sure this is going to uh, last me for a while, probably, you know, Christmas and there, you know, winter, spring, summer, whatever, but going to be more so vintage earth tones um, and just like a feel good type of journal. So that's wanted to make that clear. And this is an old book. I can't remember. Um, I th whoopsie. Falling out on me. I can't remember if it's, I believe it's a children's book, but I've got a couple super old books that, um, that are fantastic. And I like putting some things upside down. Because, you know, why not? It gives you a little bit more interest. If I had my bone folder here with me, that would probably be quite helpful. Instead, I'll use a paintbrush. And I was going to originally put this piece of text over the crease, but as we know, when you fold it, it will break. So I'd rather not do that. I um, also want to put this piece down. I'm not even sure where my heat tool went. Okay, I found it, cool. Because that's going to be quite helpful when I am trying to dry this. Something like this. Now, this right here, this piece of composition notebook paper would be fantastic if I had a sewing machine. Those of you that watch Linda Israel know that she likes to sew. I've talked about it in previous videos. I would love to do that, but I don't have a sewing machine. My mom does not want to give me hers for the time being, at least. <laughs> um, so. So that's that. All right, so that part's done. I'm not sure if I want to add any more right here, or I'll tell you what, I'm gonna add some of this. So I'm going to add this piece. Here. Like I said before at the very beginning, I've already gessoed my pages, so I'm not really concerned about uh, something, you know, leaking to another page. Or clearly, I'm not really that concerned at all, but I will probably give it a, a nice little dose of. Uh, of white gesso just to kind of knock everything back into the background so it's not that in your face. Of course, I will go over it uh, with, you know, much of these earth tones and stuff like that, so. Whoa! Alrighty. Let's try this again. See? It's all up in my grill. You try to reach for some uh, white gesso and the whole thing collapses. So, you guys got a quick glimpse of my hideously cluttered space up here. All right, so now I'm getting my brush dried off. It was soaking in some water because I had it in just so earlier actually just wing the pages just wing another project and so I'm just gonna take some of this white gesso and knock some of these pieces into the background and it'll help kind of I don't know glue it down I guess so
Now, I also don't want to get too much in here because that would just defeat the whole purpose of all these elements. See, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Just kind of knocking it a little bit into the background. Um, wipe off some of the extra here. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Having a fantastic Monday or, well, whatever day it is whenever you're watching this, because I will upload this like a normal video afterward. So I'm not entirely sure, tell you what, no, I'm going to, go that way a little bit too, kind of gives it a little bit more texture, kind of add some interest, okay, put the brush back into the water. That water is probably disgusting now, so I'm going to have to change that later. And I'm going to do some of the drying here. At least get it somewhat dry so that it's not just flowing everywhere and making a muddy mess. I'm doing that, I'm gonna, since I'm done with the gesso, at least for now, I'm going to go ahead and close that up. Of course, it's kind of hard to turn with one hand. This page is almost dry. This side's actually lifting up a little bit, but depending on what we add later I might be able to save that from just kind of coming up so okay uh, oh that part wasn't dry fantastic That's at least, you know, decent. If it's not completely dry, you know, whatever. Okay, so what is next? I think I'm going to add some color. And I've got an aqua brush that I should probably get rid of. And a stapler that just about stapled my foot. And a stapler that about stapled me again. Sweet. All right. I'm gonna get a couple distress crayons. Just going to get the. Um, I don't even know what colors are these. This is uh, fossilized amber and vintage photo distress crayons. And. Well, I just had a spray bottle and now I don't know where it went. Huh. Funny how that works. And by funny, I mean incredibly irritating. So. Well, this one will work. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I wanna start with some fossilized amber. And again, clearly, because I didn't even have everything out, I'm just going into this and 
kind of doing whatever because I feel like that's when you get your truest and most best, uh, most best, truest and best artwork is when you just go into it and do it. So, let's do a little bit of, uh, Kind of like a shadow, except with some, uh, except with a, you know, brighter color, but it's still earth tone. Uh, this is, uh, I couldn't see who ha asked that. Hello, Carrie. Um, this is a Tim Holtz Distress Crayon. It's a waxy type of pigment. Um, actually, it's not even waxy. It's Kind of like a lipstick, so I've heard. I don't I don't wear lipstick often or at all, so. But that's what I've heard is it's like lipstick, but um He's got all sorts of I just have a few, but he's got all sorts of colors and they're fantastic. Um so yeah, pretty great. They're water soluble, so it's fantastic. I could spray it with this, or I could uh Or I could use a water brush. I'm not even sure. I don't think I've ever used this one before, so that's fun. But, all right. Tell you what, I'm gonna start. Just gonna give it a little spritz here. And I may do this two ways. Um, not everyone's familiar, familiar with the Distress Crayons. Uh, so I'll kind of show you a different, couple different ways you can use them. Um, so here's obviously kind of like a watercolor. Um, doing it that way, you can use them straight or you can, you know, kind of watercolor and blend them out and just, you know, throw down some, throw down some color. Yeah, Carrie, I really like this uh, water brush. It's fantastic. Um, my other one, actually, close that real quick. My other one that I just threw over here uh, is kind of split up here. And so I taped it the other day because I was like, no, I don't want to go find another water brush. So, okay, so you can do this, which I thinned it quite a bit with water. Uh, I sprayed it with my spray bottle and then I used my aqua brush on it. Another thing you can do before they dry, which I think using gesso helps it to remain more fluid, is use a finger, uh, blending stump, whatever. I like finger, but, um, and just kind of spread it out like this. And you can create some really cool effect, effect like that. So, um, I like doing a mixture of both. I like spreading it out like that. And then once it becomes really hard to spread, because you'll be able to feel it, it's quite, um, it's kind of like hitting a brick wall when you're not able to spread it anymore. And then just go in and create your kind of painterly watercolor effects like this. So yeah, that's one way, or that's uh, three ways, actually. So. Yeah, it's definitely not for everyone because it, you know, turns your finger yellow and stuff like that. But, uh, of course, it all comes off. These are water-soluble, even, you know, permanent stuff like archival ink, whatever, it will come off your hands. So I'm not too worried about that. Of course, I'm known as being a crafter at work and church and all that, so all of our friends are very well used to me with, you know, paint on my clothes and, and stuff like that, so. Uh, Carrie, I don't know if you were here earlier, but I was talking about how I had a um, 
we have a new system at work, new computer system, and so we've got training this week, and usually I'm off on Mondays and Tuesdays, but this week I'm blessed with one day off instead of two, so that's exciting. So I am living it up in the crafting world, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a YouTube video, but then I got lazy and was like, no, nah, I don't want to edit, so... Just add some marks up there. Cool. Now, if I can find, clearly I'm very well prepared for this because it was just in the last hour or so I decided I was going to do a video. And, huh, I can't find my watercolor. Sweet. Oh well. Okay, so sprays it is. All right, actually, let's do this first. Yeah, exactly, no flesh-colored fingers here. Oh, wait, I forgot that one. Why didn't anyone yell at me? I missed one. All right, so. My shadows and my, um... I don't know, lines. None of my stuff really ever makes sense, so. That's okay. You know, I heard something the other day. Can't remember who said it, but someone that I watch quite often was like, is this ever going to be in a in an art museum is it ever going to be you know published somewhere doubtful it could but doubtful so and even if it was then clearly people would like your your stuff so they said when you're art journaling do it for you not for anyone else so all right then i'm just going to let that run down a little bit i really like the little streaks and such that it creates. Carrie, I do um, mixed media. I, okay, so let's let's go through a little history here. I started with adult coloring. I was hardcore into adult coloring. I went from adult coloring into watercolor and bullet journaling. And I went from there, I found card making. I went from that to junk journaling and incorporated that. And then like mixed media canvases and stuff using metal embellishments, stuff like that. Um, after I found Marimi's Small Art on YouTube, and I found Linda Israel and started doing junk journaling. Oh, and Nick the Booksmith really like her stuff as well so basically yeah that's that's kind of the progression uh, now I do a little bit of everything except I realized I can't watercolor really um, I can do this type of thing I can make you know I can do basic things and if I had my uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna look over here real quick because I just had my watercolors I just don't know where they went to. Which story of my life, if my uh, wife was watching right now, she would agree with me. That's if I lose it and she finds it for me. So, yeah, exactly. It's a satisfaction and just knowing that you made something. That's what I like anyway. And you know what? By the way, I found the watercolors. Uh, my favorite thing... I think about art journaling because um, I also do Bible journaling and stuff like that. It's flipping through, showing someone, and then going, oh, no way, I forgot about this because I did that the other day. And um, yeah, and I was like, no way, I forgot that I even made this. Man, I'm a genius. So anyway, it's really fun. Uh, here's just some Earth Tone Jane, Jane Davenport watercolors. Um, I got these when I thought I was going to be a world-renowned watercolorist, but 
<laughs> that's that's not gonna happen. Hello, um, could you please give me the pronunciation of your name? Because I re I'm not going to try. I don't want to mess it up. I do that enough with people as it is, and I just hate butchering people's names. In like a six by like five area here, it's it's hideous. Um, I've been doing, I've been starting more projects than I have been completing. And it's not, it's not pretty over here. Okay, Dust Fairies. Hey, you know what? I can say that, so that works for me too. <laughs> um. So, anyway, Carrie, to answer your question, I do a little adult coloring from time to time. Mainly right now I'm working, I'm doing junk journals. I just finished this one, it's like a prayer journal for uh, my pastor's wife, which no one knows about except my wife. Um, I was like, do you think she'll like it? And she's like, yeah. So, I don't know, maybe that was just like a, yeah, do you like shut up and talk about something else other than art for a while? Now, my wife's more um, music, choir, theater type. Uh, she doesn't do the the art like this so anyway yeah I love chatty live videos by the way so hope you guys do as well but anyway yeah so I do Bible journaling I do I'm really really I do card making I really like doing um art journaling. That's probably my number one thing right now. So I'm card making, I'm only watercoloring really to, uh, to do my journals. So I'm not really doing too much of your standard watercolor, you know, pictures and such anymore. Cause that just, I don't know. I tried to do, um, landscapes and stuff I absolutely love them and I still I still like follow watercolor stuff on Instagram but I just personally I can't I it just you know I know it doesn't have to be a perfect work of art but it's just hideous when I try so I think we should also be fine with the fact that we may not do very well you know doing your best is not always <clears throat> that good at least in my opinion with watercoloring or at least my experience with watercoloring should I say so dust fairies this is actually well I would love to show you but now my page is all wet um it's actually a journal I made and uh it's just got this is actually just some gessoed um sketchbook paper and Uh, I've also, I would love to show you, on the replay you can probably see, but it's got some hymnal pages, it's got uh, some burlap, some craft paper, or not burlap, some canvas, some craft paper, but right, maybe if I do this quickly, um, I made this journal, it's out of a six, whoops, six by nine manila envelope, and I made it a couple weeks ago, so... anyway so now I'm just adding little embellishments and you know stuff as I go so okay and I am my watercolors are just hideous in this um, in this palette they are just yikes I don't like to clean my brush I know I need to sometimes I do but I just, I'm too impatient, and so. But especially with doing the vintage type stuff, and you know, kind of like doing the whole Tim Holtz brown on brown on brown type of deal, it's really not that big of a deal. 
and I just love letting your colors run. I think that's a big part of what I like to do in my work is just seeing. I love science. I love um, physics and hydrology and stuff like that. And so being able to see how water runs, the patterns, you know, how things pool, just really neat. And so just kind of letting it do its thing. Of course, with a helping hand like this. So I don't know what color I should do next. Probably like a yellow. Thanks, Carrie. Exactly. Your best is your best. But good grief. It's just, uh, yeah. My watercoloring. I think I actually threw them away, but I had a couple I was working on. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. This would be a really neat landscape. And it was like a forest thing. Anyway, I, my son could have done better. He's seven. Or my four-year-old daughter. They could have. They could have probably done a lot better than I did. It was it was really rough. So. Also love the blendability of these. Fantastic. That's why I prefer watercolor acrylic. It's just I don't know. I'll throw some paint down, but that's about it. Use my jelly plate maybe, but I mean that's it's as far as I get into acrylics and my spray bottle is not wanting to do its job. You had one job, man. Carrie, I have not done um sorry, I'm a little bit behind on your comments, uh, because I've been I have to look way up here. So, um, Carrie, no, I have not done a flip through of the prayer journal. I actually finished it yesterday at work and I have not done a flip through yet. I'm going to actually, that is on my list to do before I, before I give it to my pastor's wife. That is the next thing I'm going to do. So. Probably sometime tonight. Okay, that's that's going to really irritate me. So, what I'm going to do, if you guys were here earlier, um, this little bit here didn't stick down like I'd hoped. And so I'm going to see that's not going to work. Okay, I was just going to staple that down, but that's not going to work. Hang on just a second. Let me see if I can find... Got my Tim Holtz one here, but that's not going to work either. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just try to tack that down later. Um, Carrie, my paid job is I am a 911 dispatcher, uh, call taker and dispatcher. So I take the calls, I dispatch the calls, and um, I used to be a firefighter EMT. After that, um, or well, during the same time, I was a, a CNA or the hospital called it a nurse technician for the intensive care unit and cardiovascular intensive care unit. Um, I was also, yeah, I did, uh, did the fire thing. And uh, now I'm a 911 dispatcher. I'm actually, I work full time. I am a full-time student of emergency management, so got quite a lot on my plate at the moment. Carrie, I used to go to a Christian church. Um, now it was a non-denominational Christian church, and. Um, now I, since I met my wife, um, we go to a First Baptist Church. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to add some purple. Brown up here, we'll just 
just start there. And so much for not wanting to get anything on my tab up here. I kind of want to incorporate some of the colors up here in this tab for the rest of the page. So so I'm kind of hitting with some blues, some reds, some browns. All right. Now, something I've done before, mainly in like a Bible page, is do this. Which sometimes it works very well, sometimes it does not. Used to work for a sheriff's department, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I try to be calm under pressure, there's really not a whole lot that surprises me anymore. Um, see so it kind of mirrors it but it also just kind of gives you that extra coverage so yeah that's really fun um anyway sorry i keep it sidetracked that's awesome carrie yeah i um my agency we dispatch for uh man seven police departments including the sheriff's office and six fire departments and an EMS agency so I think that's right I don't know but no one can tell me I'm wrong because my co-workers don't watch so that's cool um all right I am going to oh these are the uh for I can't remember exactly which um which ones these are I think it might be called like the neutral set or something. I don't know. I think this is the first one she came out with and then she had like the pastels or the bright or whatever. I'm re I really don't know a whole lot about her products actually. Um, I agree, Carrie. Yeah, I just don't. Yeah, I mean, you know, to each their own. I really don't pay a whole lot of attention. She did take a world religions class a few semesters ago and that was really cool so all right i'm gonna let this drip down for a second yes carrie please let me know um if i don't finish this yet which hopefully i will uh then i will finish this another time because i'm just kind of doing this to kill some time before linda goes live i've actually got my ipad propped up over here so I can see the time so I don't run into her that'd be really sad if I got sidetracked and completely forgot that she was streaming that'd be really sad yeah Carrie I was using some uh I was using the distress crayons I actually only used these two distress crayons to begin with and then used Jane Davenport so I absolutely love her her sets. I don't have the uh, bright one, but I do have the neutral, obviously, and they are fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry this part up real quick because that's bothering me over there on my cover. Who wants some sprays? Do some sprays here in just a minute. And since I am going to do some sprays, let's, uh, I've got this stencil that I want to use, and this one that I want to use, so let's go ahead and do those. Let's start with this one. I'm not sure how many I will use, but, and I think someone moved my... 
pretty sure someone moved my paper towels. So that's helpful. All right. Let's get some uh, ground espresso. I do like using Dilutions ink sprays with uh, Tim's stuff as well. Because this one, my absolute favorite, the uh, carved pumpkin, was running out. And it's Linda's uh, favorite Tattered Angels. Let's see if I could use, oh no. No, 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 no. I've got an idea now. Okay. Yeah, I was just feeling really lazy and didn't want to buy any more to Tim's uh, for the moment. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, when this one started running out, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get some more, but I don't want to uh, wait forever. So I went to Michael's and bought some, or Michael's? No. I went to Joanne's, I think, and bought some Dilutions, and I absolutely love them. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, I'm going to start off with a couple sprays of the Dilutions um, Pure Sunshine. Uh, that's the problem with this. This is a Heidi Swap stamp, by the way, in case you're curious. And where did that go? I've got a piece of a shirt. Here we go. It's much better with uh, paper towels, but. Sweet. Now, kids playing outside. Nifty. Um, I've always wondered, why would you watercolor if you're just going to spray all over it? However, I now know, because in the background, you can still see the blends you've got going on. In case anyone's ever wondered that, that's why. <laughs> Dust fairies, yes. Yep. I absolutely love sprays, so. By the way, is anyone else, when they use a heat tool, just absolutely mesmerized when you see that puddle start to shrink? It's really cool. Got spray on my hand. Like I told you, I am very well uh, known for my spray hands. So, all right, got some Tattered Angels in what color is this? Rosy gold. So Carrie, how do you make sprays? Because, um, you know what? I should use paper. I actually do when I use my spray box, but uh, I, don't, I don't have anything. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys, but you can't tell anyone else. Look this. Is that not ridiculous? So when I say I'm working in like, you know, a few inches by a few inches, that's, <laughs> I've got so much stuff, but I just don't, I don't know. So much stuff everywhere. Okay, tell you what, I've got some right here. How's that? We will use this for mop-up page. Which I've inadvertently gotten some stuff on already. So, that'll work. You're right, I should, I should use that, not waste my sprays. Okay, shake up this glimmer mist. Nope, not gonna use that yet. What were we doing, Austin? We were spraying this side now. And I just lost my other, where'd my dilution spray go, guys? Okay, here it is. I just feel like the dilution spray has a very, like a more vibrant tone. By the way, I think this is like one of the most satisfying things ever, is uh, soaking up pages, using mop-up pages. So I do have a whole pile of them somewhere, but it's buried under a bunch of crap. Check that out. All right. I just throw my stencil on top of that and let that soak up the 
the rogue sprays. Carrie, I absolutely love Tim's sprays. They're fantastic. Now, just to add some extra interest, I'm gonna flip it upside down. Shake my tattered angels up a little bit more. Since there's some hanging out in here, I'm going to do what I absolutely love doing. First splatter, then add circles. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love circles, so. All right, working with threes, I like it. Cool. Let's go ahead and dry this because the uh, next thing I'm going to do, I just don't really want it to run away with the circles. So, Carrie, I'm really interested if there's a video or if you make videos or something like that, how you uh, make your sprays. Very, very interested. And I'm sure my wife would love you sharing that information with me because um, kind of like Linda, it keeps me away from having to see you later, Dust Fairies. We'll see you on the uh, on Linda's stream. Thanks for stopping by. I may do this every week or quite often because I often get bored before Linda's stream. So, um, Carrie, I'm really interested in how you do that because it Kind of like Linda, she saves me money by having me do my own stuff. All right. Now here's another thing. I don't mind that that spray gets everywhere. Kind of bugs me that it got on that tag. But, you know, added interest, am I right? Happy accidents, as Bob Ross would say. Hmm, I cannot get enough right there. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm wanting. Okay, so. Why did I do watercolor that way? And then, uh, thank you, us fairies, for the thumbs up. And Carrie, I will have to read your comment later <laughs> about how to make that. But thank you for the information. I will, I will have to learn how to do that. Okay, so why did I do watercolor going that way? And then um, do this this way. Added interest. Why not? So, um, absolutely love these tattered angels. Don't have a lot of it, but what I do have is fantastic. Actually made an autumn journal that I'm sending to um, Linda to kind of critique and tell me, you know, what I could do better, or, you know, stuff like that, and uh, it's got quite a bit of Tattered Angels used in it, so. Actually sent that package out today, so I hope you can still hear me. This gets kind of loud sometimes, but. Yeah, I love the circles too. I just, and it matches this right here. I don't know if you can still see that tab right there. It matches that, and so it's fantastic. All right. So I'm going to take this, mop up some of that. So I don't want to overheat my journal. I used the wax thread, and I'm just not sure if it would cause any, any problems with the binding, so. Okay, sweet. So. And I've got some cool texture for this page as well. So here we go, and that one. All right, let's flip it back over. 
and let's start putting some uh, some stuff on this. Uh, Linda's back. Linda's up in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna try to um, at least kind of craft for the purpose. Hurry a little bit. All right, let's see what kind of goodies we've got here. A lot of this, except this um, and these. But this was Happy Mail, this was uh, Birthday, and so, super gracious for all of the fun supplies and stuff I've gotten. Um, like that. I had an idea for that and now I don't even remember what it was, so. Hmm. I might use one of these. That's a piece from uh, Tim Holtz. Awesome, thanks Carrie. I will uh, look for that later. like that okay so that's enough from that bag you know what I didn't have is uh, didn't have at least somewhat accessible as the uh, sentiments or the big chat sticker holds can you tell I'm a Tim Holtz addict I absolutely love his stuff I think this will be another fall theme because that I don't know why that glimmer mesh just really puts me in the mood for fall so that's exciting so I love doing pages like this that's just themed and you know kind of feel good so oh I really like that I could do something with that too so these aren't obviously everything I'm going to use, or maybe that. These are just some ideas, so. Uh, this one, I'm, I absolutely love this paper pack I got. It's just... You know, kind of just don't want to use things because uh, it's so pretty, but that's why you get them. You did not buy them to uh, look at them on a shelf. I mean, maybe at some point someone's shelf, yes, but not. Okay. I'm gonna work on some paper dolls now. Actually, tell you what, let's do this. Sweet. That was, I think, the quickest paper doll choosing ever. I love them, um, but they, oh man, just takes forever to pick one sometimes. see if there's anything right here immediately that we want to use. See, here's some more tabs. Um, do, do, do. See, I love that. And I love this. Hmm. Yeah, I hope she will. Um, I told her she can do a giveaway with it or, you know, whatever she wants after that, but, um, or keep it, you know, whatever, but kind of wanting to know what I've, uh, what I could do better if I'm going to want to start selling things. 
so. Okay, I think I'm lacking some blue here. Do you think the same thing? Tell you what, let's make some more circles, shall we? At least I think it'll. Let's try this. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit, because I don't wanna get too much in there, but I wanna get a little bit just to get this to start moving. Good grief, I don't know if you can hear the kids out outside, but they are. Carrie, you have a lot of Tim Holtz as well, yeah. I, I love Tim Holtz, he is fantastic. And as we see here, some of the blue is mixing with the um, mixing with the tethered angels and mixing with the dilutions that's not yet completely dried and it's turning green which I absolutely love okay so there's that I lost my mop-up sheet again okay here's this and it's this side Alright, cool story, I'm going to put this back on here actually, because why would I clean my stuff, right? Yes, it will, Carrie. Yeah, you can go through and watch the um, previous comments and such before really anyone joined. Um, Yeah, it will be archived, and you can see that later. Okay, so... I would love to incorporate this. Alright, sounds good, Carrie. Thank you for watching, and, uh, like I told, um... Uh... Where are we at here? Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Like I told Dust Fairies earlier, um, feel free. Feel free to uh, watch any time. And um, I will finish the rest of this up, hopefully in the next uh, 20 minutes so I can watch Linda as well. And um, I will be uh, hopefully doing this more often. So thanks for watching. I will see you later, dude. By the way, don't get offended. I call everyone dude, so. My daughter the other day, like, I'm not a boy. I know, I call everyone dude, so. Dude and bro is pretty much my thing. I know, those millennials, right? Okay. So I think I want this here. For no other reason than because. And I really like that guy right there, but I wonder, no, I really like him right here. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to use this or if I'm going to use these, but something like that. I don't think I want that flag. Probably won't use, actually, maybe. Maybe I could use this, like right here or something. Like this guy's traveling to see some some family on in the in the fall, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I won't use the bird. I thought I wanted to, but maybe I don't. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do, at least for right now. So let's see here. All right, so what I absolutely love 
is using staplers. And I've got a big one down there. I've also got a Tim Holtz one that I think I put over here. And of course I can't find my Tim Holtz one now because it's buried under everything. Oh, found it, found it, found it. Okay, there we go. Cool. So I'm going to take this and this. I'm going to put a I'm trying to be, there we go, I'm trying to be quite careful for that, okay. Usually, I'll use these staples um, just for decoration. I like to make clusters uh, and attach them with glue or something. But I think what I'm going to do this time, see I like this right here, I think what I'm going to do this time is add staples to hold it on. So, I will use my big stapler right there. And get some of the paper Mod Podge, the blue label paper Mod Podge, and put this on here just so it doesn't, you know, come up where there are no staples, like in the middle and stuff like that. So. This stuff dries clear, which is fantastic. I don't have to worry about globs of white or anything hanging out. Okay, I've got so much stuff everywhere, I'm losing places to put my stuff. And now our dog and our neighbor's dog are playing outside. <laughs> Can you hear them? I think they're, uh, I think they're barking at the kids next door. All right. And I will use the big stapler right here as well. And I will use the Tim Holtz tiny attacher right here. Maybe if it'll reach. Sweet. Okay. I also love the uh, bit of like, you know, hodgepodge look. Just kind of everywhere, you know. Not too perfect, basically. So that one little spot right there is really kind of irritating me. All right. Good grief. It sounds like my dog. I don't think she's too much of a fan of the kids being outside next door. Oops. But if I brought her in now, she would just do that inside and it would echo all over the house. So let's not do that, shall we? Alright, and since I'm going to keep this open for a while, after I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge right here by the seam. Should not seep into other um, should not seep over to other pages and cause an issue there, but it will at least kind of hold everything like this, so. 
I want that. No, I still think I want this here. Okay. So I'm going to use the tiny attacher on this one. I'll tell you what, actually, I'm going to back it with some Mod Podge. And then maybe put one staple, or I could use Brad's. I like, I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Tim Holtz Brad's. I really like those, so. And yes. some Tim Holtz brads. Also got my shields, uh, word shields or whatever they're called. And um, I may use one of them like story. Because if you imagine that this guy is traveling to see some family for the holidays or, you know, autumn, whatever. I guess it wasn't my dog. I guess it was my neighbor's dog. Cool. Let's let this fella hang out right there. And I felt like that wasn't enough Mod Podge on his leg, so. And again, since this dries clear, I'm not too concerned about Now, what you do have to watch out for, especially when you go over white paper or something that you don't want to alter, alter the color at all, um, this will tend to grab on to especially water-soluble pigments and drag them. So, I think what I'm going to do, since he's not wanting to stay down like that, I'm going to get some Fabri-Tac, which I'm running, running really low on. So I'm going to uh, try not use it as much. If I had my hot glue gun ready, I would definitely use that, so. But I do not. See that Mod Podge just kind of picks up the water soluble pigment pigment you can kind of see an outline of them where it's kind of ghosted it kind of lifted the lifted some of the pigment so this Fabri-Tac is really cool because it, uh, it's a permanent adhesive and it kind of keeps the kind of has the feeling of hot glue. I mean, not hot, obviously, but it's got the strings, which is really interesting. See? Super weird. So, alright. Although it is very flammable, and I believe it has some sort of acetone or something like that in it, so be careful. Alright. I think what I'm going to do now is get one of these word shields. And this is actually the first time I've used these. I got them when I believe Blitzy had their sale, their moving sale, and um, that's when we ordered them and then I got them for my birthday from my wife. And I guess you just put that on top of that like that. 
sweet. So that makes a little charm thing. It's all adhesive. Um, cool. Now, my fabric tack likes to. That was all just from the outside of the nozzle because it likes to. Uh, likes to kind of seep the glue when I don't need it, so. All right, I'll probably put something like this Jane Davenport thing on top of that since it's a metal embellishment, it's a little hard to keep it on there at the moment. So, all right. So I think what I do, since everything's just a little wet still. I'm going to add some journaling right here. Um, maybe, you know, what this page is supposed to be, what it represents, you know, something like that. And, uh, actually going to try to put this on right now, but see how well that goes. And I hope it doesn't just tear the paper. That would be upsetting. There we go. Okay. And I feel like it is kind of just wanting to tear it because it tore that kind of off right there. But that's okay. Tell you what, I'll just put in one since the rest of those are kind of, the rest of the paper is kind of flimsy and I just, you know, don't want to poke that bear at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and save the rest of these brads. I think that's all I wanted to put on that one. I'll probably make an accompanying tag, um, kind of like I did with this for that page. Um, still haven't added a lot of journaling there. I think I put on the junk journal group that I was going to, so I uh, put some things that fall, makes me think of, or that, you know, reminds me of. And this guy, probably going to see some family or something for the holidays. Um, or for, you know, the fall or whatever. Uh, I'm going to probably do some journaling right down here, maybe add some quick journaling lines. And if you guys want to see how I do that, I love my version of making journaling lines. It's fantastic. See? Now, I have an eye problem. I cannot draw straight lines to save my life, so... How do I take care of that? I just do that. So, um, vintage junk journal page. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Wait a second. I put this up. Kinda clean a little bit as I go, cause you know, I would never have any room if I didn't. Okay. I haven't added any stamping, which is fine. I don't, I don't need to add stamping, but what I did specifically get to bring out was this. Because it does match my tab, so it's some of the Tim Holtz uh, airmail paper string, which this is the first time I've used this as well. So I'm going to... Uh, Get a little bit, I think. I'll just make a bit of a, dogs are playing outside if you can hear that. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of the string. Oh, there's my scissors, sweet. Now, do I want, originally I thought I would do something like this. I kind of like that, but I feel like compared to the rest of the page, that's just a little too done. What I'm also thinking is maybe something like this, but would that be too bulky? No, that's kind of ridiculous, I don't like that. Okay. Well, 
about something like that. Tell you what, I'll probably end up doing this. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, so that these don't come out from under the staple. What I like to do is either add a little bit of glue or tie a little knot on the end of the rope, the string, whatever you want to call it. Right there. Okay. I'll use the tiny attacher just because I don't want to use anything too substantial because this is obviously not the focal point. The focal point is the journaling and the dude over there, so, okay. This is difficult for someone that's left-handed, I feel like. Let's go ahead and I think I might have to end up reinforcing this, actually. go from this way. Okay. This is like watching paint dry, I'm sure. Okay. Sweet. So that should work. I hope. Pretty light duty staples, so I'm really hoping that'll work. Okay. That was just really awkward trying to get that there. Good grief. Okay. Now we're gonna put that there. And these are all going to be kind of not really off center, but kind of um, diagonal. So, I think actually what I'm going to do first is go ahead and, so that this does not continue to pull on this little deal here, on a staple and on over here, I'm going to pull it even with that, and then, sweet, okay. So now it'll kind of stay a little more stationary. I'm going to have to do something else there. Okay. No, that wasn't far enough up now, was it? Hang on. I just can't get it in the right spot. That's really irritating. Okay. if it ends up being too close. See, why am I doing this so weird? Okay. Yeah, that other knot would have to come out because if it, just move it down a little bit. And I'm not entirely sure If I can take this knot out, so we might just be stuck with it. All right, tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to 
take this, use the tiny attacher right here. Sweet. Now, tie a knot, cut it off. Or tie a knot, and then just like leave it there. Sweet. Yeah, I might just tuck that in there, because, you know, why not? Something like that. Okay. Now let's do this one. Because that's going to really bother me. And then let's do this side, too. Alright, sweet. I'm going to do some journaling. Um, this guy seems to be enjoying fall. It's all pretty well stuck down and um, and stapled and, and fun. So, alright. Fantastic. Well, um, this is one that will be uploaded, will be archived, so you can watch the replay if you're watching it now. Obviously, that is the case. Um, you know, I've, I've done a couple more videos uh, prior to this that I really enjoyed making the project, but then I didn't like it afterwards, so I deleted the video and did not upload it. This way, people that watch live will see it, and I will just uh, keep it up, and so there's no way for me to uh, chicken out of it. I have to put it up, so... Thank you guys for watching. Those of you that came live, uh, Carrie and Dust Fairies, thank you for joining me live. Um, I hope to do many more of these, and I might start going on before Linda um, for an hour or so before that. Um, just to be able to hang out with uh, you guys, get some, get some videos up, and also enjoy my creativity time. So thank you guys for watching. Linda's uh, video just started, so uh, if you guys are currently live, go over there and watch Linda Israel's YouTube live. It's going to be fantastic, and if you guys are watching the replay, please join me next week. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or any gripes, and I will be sure to take a look. Guys, bye.